Wow, what a cloudy evening it is. It's been like that the whole entire day. Kind of looks boring when it's cloudy. You feel like you want to go out and do something, have fun, whatever. But evidently just being around here, it's plumb boring. Yeah, we get to go out and have fun and Thanksgiving dinner Thursday night. As we get to hang around with family and friends and so far, a lot of you guys may be at your destinations already. There's somebody on that top balcony right there. But anyway, yeah, nighttime is fastly approaching. And as I said, we are about 19 minutes till it gets dusk. It gets fully dark. But anyway, we're just next to the good old townhomes, as you guys can see. Boy, I tell you one thing, I would love to see a inside of one of those. How it'd be really good, you have an upstairs loft and you know, you have a couple of bedrooms inside. But anyway, they are nice looking homes, especially those with built on decks on them, like that one. Boy, I gotta say that is pretty neat how they built a deck on a second story like that. But anyway, so yeah, cloudy conditions, it's 100% cloud cover, and it's going to be like this, as I said, overnight tonight into Sunday morning, the whole day is going to be like today, just cloudy. So yeah, cloudy conditions going throughout tomorrow into tomorrow night. And then partly cloudy on Monday, sunny conditions on Tuesday. Wednesday is also sunny. Thursday returns back to partly cloudy. And I gotta say it, there's another cold front headed our way. This is not the first one that we've had a couple weeks ago. This is now the third one we're getting. But we got multiple rounds of colder weather as we approach Thanksgiving and possibly into Christmas too. But anyway, so yeah, I gotta say, it is a cloudy one, but I don't know if we are predicting snow this year, but if we are, that'd be pretty good to film. The last snowstorm the San Antonio had was back in the year of 2020 or 21. I mean, wherever <laughs> that snowstorm was. But love, she was going crazy. You know, during that morning, I let her out and you now she's going nuts. She's like, What is this stuff? What is this stuff? It's white, it's powdery, and so on. May you hear the dogs barking. But anyway. 
just thought I'd take the time, come out here, shoot one more before we say goodbye for a while. This is our last weekend for new episodes of A Day in the Life. But we will return once we get back with Thanksgiving being finished and we're on our way to Christmas. Oh, I just love Christmas. It's the greatest holiday. Colorful Christmas lights, the Christmas trees decorated Christmas. You know, Christmas is just beautiful in many, many ways. And I will say, one of the greatest things. You know, and it's not about getting things, you know. Boy, and it looked like somebody had a paper mess over here. Goodness. It looked like somebody's schoolwork. As you can see, little symbols right there, this and that. But yeah. It's like somebody just left all their schoolwork here. Just look at that. But anyway. But yeah. Christmas is a beautiful holiday. And it's about being with your family and worshiping the Lord on his day. That's what Christmas is all about. It's not about getting Christmas gifts, and I've said that for many years. And that's the truth. You know, if you think it's all about getting, then there's a sign over your head that says not getting it. Kind of reminds me of Benny. All he ever did was think, oh, I was going to give all of everything to him. Nine and a half years I gave to him. He wasn't happy because he wanted more. He wanted a lot more out of me, and I refused to give it to him. Well, nine and a half years that he's lied to me. Why should he deserve more? You break the trust by lying. You know? How is it fair to be treated so wrongly? How is it fair that I helped him all this time and he didn't even help me? So what does that tell you? You can't trust a man that says, oh, I promise, and then keep your word after that. Yeah, keep my word my rear end. It's all a joke. His words mean nothing. Sit and lie all the time. Free reign over everything. Come and go as you please. You had food, you had a car, you had all your bills paid because it was out of the kindness of my heart. And this is how you treat a friend that took very good care of you. Oh, because it's your woke political ideologies that you care about. It's all it is. To him, the fake news is good. It's all he thinks about. You know, he's brainwashed. tried so hard to pull him and to the light and knowing what the truth would 
represent. But anyway. Now and all the wrong things that he's done. He's already facing hell for what he's done. He's facing the the consequences of his actions. You know, you do something bad and really you know what you're expecting in the future is the consequences could bite you in the ass. You know, when you do bad things, it'll catch up with you. I mean, all of us know that. I mean, you know, it's going to catch up with him at some point, and it already has. I mean, when you think about it, you know, and I just felt like our friendship meant nothing, me and him. All it was, was he just kept, I kept giving to him and he just kept taking away from me. You know, and that's all he ever cared about was, oh, if Jonathan gives me all these things, then I won't have to give back in return. Uh, yeah, you do. You didn't know about that? I mean, come on, man. I mean, don't you even think about that? I mean, come on. You know, do one to others as you do one to yourself. I mean, that's not hard to do. You know? Yeah, they got people coming down the stairs over there, so I'm going to go this way. But, you know, do unto others as you do unto yourself. And that's one thing that Benny didn't do. And all this time, he's sitting there lying to every single one of us saying, Oh, you know, things... Things are going to be good. Things are going to be a whole lot better. This is that. Yada, yada, yada. It's not better when you're caught in a lie. And when you're doing bad things to people that have done nothing to you. Why they deserve to go through pain and depression. And they think about it all the time. You know, I think about it all the time. Think about him. Do I think I was treated unfairly? Yes. Do you think I was treated bad because of him? Yeah. Because he lies and cheats people. And that's all he's done. And he won't admit to it. He won't admit actions. He won't take action to responsibility. Clearly, he blamed me for everything. His job loss was on me. Everything was on me. When actually everything that he did was on him. How can you say it's my fault? I mean, seriously, how can you say, how can you say it's my fault when your actions need to speak louder than words? Think about that for once in your life, man. I mean, come on, think about it. I had nothing to do with your job loss. That was all on you. You got to think about that. You know? 
I think, in my mind's eye, it was time to move on. It was time to move on from Sam's because they hated me. Just like Benny did. The people that hate me, I'll leave them behind. And I'll say, hey, you know what? Their hate for me is more powerful than the love that they have. God's honest truth. They're the problem if they carry that much hate. And that's not a lie. That's the truth right there. That, you know. But anyway, guys, I got to say, I mean, I know it takes a while for me to get over what has just happened. And you know, I'm taking it one day at a time. You know. I mean, to think about it each and every day, it's, it is a haunting image. But moving on is what I'm doing. I will have a better life, a better future, and the people that hate me, I'll leave them behind. Sam's Club hated me just like Benny did. And those are the two diseases I leave behind. And whatever happens to Benny, I could care less about it. If he goes back to jail, that's on him. If he sees his parole officer, that's on him. Because one time he did that and got a $600 letter in the mail saying he owes them. That should have been the time I should have said, that was bullcrap what you did. But I'm plainly laughing at him because he's plainly stupid. Well, but you know, when you do bad things, when you do bad things, let me tell you, it will come back and it will bite you in the butt. Or could say, ass or donkey or whatever but listen to me you have a better chance I mean that was because I said I think donkey is a better word than saying the a double s word but anyway but, you know, that's just what I was trying to get at over, you know, Christmas is not about getting things. And if you think about it, if you think it's all about giving, like, you know, and all about receiving, and that's all you think about, then plainly there's something wrong with you. You truthfully don't know what. Christmas represents. You know, if you want to know what it represents, then I will tell you. Christmas is all about remembering the birth of the Messiah of Jesus Christ. And his birth, there was three wise men who bore the three gifts, you had frankincense, myrrh, and goat. And they came and they bore the gifts to him. They saw the star in the eastern sky of Bethlehem. 
And the three wise men came and they worshipped the little baby in the manger. All of us need to know what Christmas represents. If you have a hard time, then just watch this video. It'll tell you. It'll tell you what Christmas is all about. But it's not about getting stuff. That's one thing that you got to realize. It's about being with your family and celebrating the great day it is. You know, you could be out baking Christmas cookies or cinnamon rolls or whatever on Christmas morning. You could be out watching a recorded game of college football. Your dad would be out making a pretty good luncheon or a dinner for y'all. Or, you know, that's all the dads out there. You know, and singing Christmas carols, listening to Christmas music, a lot of things. I mean, it's kind of important to wake up on Christmas morning and, you know, you're getting ready to open Christmas gifts and, you know, you'd be surprised. Be like, oh, look what I got. This is pretty cool. Whether you get shirts or clothes or games or a new game console or anything. You know, just think about it for a minute. Hey, you think about it. You know, it's a gift is a gift. You know, and you got to be thankful for what you have. Because let's look at it this way. There's a lot of people that are less fortunate than we, right? If you say, yeah, then you're right. There is. There, there, there's somebody out there that barely has anything for Christmas. Think about it. Having little to nothing on Christmas, that's downright depressing. That's what I think about it. But, you know, it's not give, 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 take, 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 you know. Uh-uh. I mean, don't be like Benny. Benny did that. I gave, gave, gave. He took, took, took. That's what he did. Out of the kindness out of my heart, I did that for nine and a half years. You think I'm disappointed in me doing that? I did that out of the kindness of my heart because I really cared about him. But after seeing him lying to me the way that he's done me, I just think that that ain't going to be tolerated. I ended our friendship over that. I felt cheated, you know? I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to burst anybody's bubble or this or that, you know? I just think there some days on this journey, I got to express my feelings by burning off a little steam, you know? I mean, I don't mean to be this way or anything like that. But... You know, we are going to rebuild. We are going to change. You know, it just takes time. And I know what you guys are saying. You know, you know, Jay Baker, you're going to get through the pain, the loss, the difficultness, everything. We all go through that. I mean, yeah, we had somebody in our life that would do those bad things. And we kick them out. Yeah, we do. They don't change. We kick them out. Do we wish we would? they would change? You betcha. Change is a big word. C-H-A-N-G-E. Change. You know, and 
if Benny would change overnight, I wished he would. I wished he would confess his faults to me. Confess the wrong doings that he did. And say, hey, you know, Jonathan, I screwed up. I lied to you. Nine and a half years. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. And I'll confess my fault. You know? I wished he would do that for me. I wished he would make things right. I wished he would pay back all the money that he borrowed from me. I wish that he would turn away from the evil that is going on in this world today. There's a lot of it going. Don't matter where you go, you see it everywhere. So much corruption. There's just so much of it these days. It's not funny. You know? But anyway, so I will say when you think about Christmas, you think about every word that I say. And it's not about getting gifts. And I'll say it. I'll say it every year and every time we approach a Christmas holiday, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say, look, folks. It is not about getting gifts. There's a lot of people out there that are less fortunate than we. Remember that. That's easy to remember. You know? But anyway, we want to thank you all for coming in to this episode. And if I said anything rude or ugly, I apologize. But a donkey is a a double s just out of the dictionary. Hey, and he even says it in the Bible, too. You know, ass is mentioned in the Bible. What did, what did Mary wrote on? A donkey. You know, and all types of stuff. But anyway, yep, it is dusk, and it is now getting dark. It's pretty good. We filmed a whole 30 minutes. And, you know, the next episodes of A Day in a Life will hopefully be better. But there are some days that I think about the pain, the loss that I went through. I think about it all the time. But I know that in this journey, things will get better. I got to keep my head up. And I know I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm going to keep my head up and look forward to a brighter future. The brighter future is to rebuild what I've lost. And that's, that's going to be pretty good too. There is always a bright future for everybody. You and me. Keep your head up high over this holiday season. You know, spend time with your family, the ones that, that care the most. You know, over this holiday season, be safe on your travels, wherever you go. Spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with family. Because that's what truthfully matters. You know, and... That's what all matters. But anyway. Well... The day in the life is going to be off for a while. We will see you guys back really soon. 
when we upload again, you know, with all the episodes of Love's new series about ready to hit, you know, it's, it's big for me to work on episodes, to work on a series that I love and to share the memories that all of us can look back forward when we get in the future and say, I remember that. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys have a good night. And we'll see you again soon. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. And have a Merry Christmas. As we'll celebrate Christmas on Love's new series. And so far, join us on those premieres December 24th through December 25th. Man afterwards and gotta say we'll see y'all back later might be the end of december or start of january of the new year but anyway so long and we'll see y'all later